you identify as a non-binary. Am I right? Yeah, you know, that's not something I um, talk about a lot, but I identify both as non-binary and as female. To me, non-binary just means that I don't um, subscribe to the gender binary. I think gender is a social construct, and I don't like being confined by stereotypes. So you don't like being confined as a female? So I also do identify as female, but I personally, I just like to challenge a lot of the assumptions that come with that. Yeah, I read, in teen, that, uh, read that you wrote an article for Teen Vogue, and you said you uh, identify as a woman, but you also identify as a non-binary. So for me, I'm black and slow. What is a non-binary exactly? Somebody who does not identify exclusively as a man or a woman. So someone might identify as not a man or a woman. Um, they might identify as both non-binary and a man or a woman. It just means that they don't subscribe to the gender binary. Oh, I see. So do you sometimes identify as a male? No. You always identify as a female, but sometimes as nothing. Right. What does nothing feel like? <laughs> <laughs> just feels like I'm just like a soul and a light being and not <laughs> like my soul isn't gendered. So if you're out at a bar one night and this handsome guy comes through and he sees this beautiful woman and he goes, well, I'm going over and talk to that lady. And are you going to say, well, I'm not a lady tonight. I'm a non-binary. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I really would not. I mean, some people might feel that way. I really would not personally care as long as I didn't feel like he was stereotyping me based on what I look like. Amazing. Um, how does that personally help you to identify as a non-binary? What does it do for you? It allows me to feel free to be myself regardless of what gender roles might dictate. So will you go home to visit your parents sometimes? And they say, here come my daughter. <laughs> and you say, no, 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 today I'm a non-binary. <laughs> my parents don't know anything about that. <laughs> they don't know about it? No. So you would never tell them about it? I don't think they'd get it. <laughs> what is a woman? <laughs> I don't know if anyone really knows that. You know, people used to say it meant two X chromosomes, but then there's trans people and then there's intersex people. I think ultimately it's someone who identifies as a woman and it's your choice how you identify. So for an example, there are a lot of men, males, who identify as a woman. Are they really women or do they just think that they are? But in reality, they are not. I think that it's really a personal identity and that if you feel you are a woman you are because I don't think anyone has even agreed on a biological definition like even even some people with 2x chromosomes have like genital configurations or hormones that might suggest male to some people and gender is really a social construct and so since it is made up by society we should have the chance to make it up for ourselves whatever it means to us. So one other thing about that, because I want to move on. At what point in life did you decide, you know what, I'm going to be a non-binary. I'm just not going to be what the world say I am. At what point in life did you decide that? In college, when I learned what it was. Before that, I didn't really know what it was. Oh, they taught you that in college? I don't know if it was taught in class or just by my peers. I think it may have just been from people I knew. And so when you first heard it in college, did you go, what the? <laughs> <laughs> did no. you accept it right away, or was it hard to accept that idea of a non-binary? Or did you just say, yeah, that makes sense? Yeah, I thought it made sense. Right away? Mm-hmm. Were you high? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wasn't really into that stuff, so <laughs> wasn't high. That's amazing. And so what is a male, besides just body parts, what is a male? Same thing as females, someone who identifies as male. Um, 
yeah, I would say a male is somebody who says that they are. Do you, um, what's your impression of men today? <laughs> I think men, they have a lot to deal with from society, like women. There's a lot of confusing social roles and stereotypes and I can't really make a generalization. I think I have sympathy with men for like all the things that they deal with. Yeah. Do you, you you're not married or anything, right? Mm -mm. You date? Mm-hmm. And you date men? Yeah. Do you date women too? No. Whew. Why? <laughs> I thought you were going to say yes. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, the uh, I wanted to ask you about this. The author of Harry Potter, Harry Potter, the woman by the name of J. K. Rowland, uh, she came under fire recently for saying trans women are not women. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with her? No, I don't agree with her. And why not? Because, like I said, um, people get to identify with whatever they choose. And I think trans women have so many um, disadvantages and discrimination and violence against them that it's really important to include them in feminism. And I think what she says risks sort of excluding them in you know, the fight that includes cis women. And I think it should include all women. Does she deserve to be canceled because she said that? That's her opinion? What do you mean by canceled? They're trying to get rid of her books. They don't recognize, you know, she was very popular. Mm -hmm. But when she said that, they wanted to turn off her books. They don't want to interview her. She's like, not accepted anymore, for the most part. Hmm. Should she be treated that way? That's tough. Because I think it depends. I think people should challenge her and talk to her about what she said. and. I don't necessarily think people should stop reading her books. I think that's sort of a separate entity and people can get things out of that and yeah. other work she does. But I think... Does she have a right to have her own opinion and express those opinions without punishment? Well, no. no. I, it depends what you mean by punishment. Like, she should not be arrested, obviously, but right. without, like, criticism, I would say no. Well, they can criticize her, but not cancel her out, not cancel her, prevent her from being, to do, from doing interviews and to being on the internet and things like that. Should she be punished in that way or those ways? I think that's really up to the individual. Like, if somebody, feels offended by that and does not want to interview her because of that and wants to more promote people who are saying more positive things about trans women. I think that's a valid decision. If somebody does want to interview her about something, I think that's also a valid decision. Do you, um, does she have a right to the freedom of speech? Of course. And do you agree with the cancel culture today? They, want, they only want one point of view. No one is allowed to disagree. Do you agree with that? I think that it can get too harsh sometimes, and I think it's more productive to see each other with compassion and try to understand where each other's coming from. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I mean, I do think people should be educated about why certain views are problematic, but I do think that could be done in a way that is less automatically just, um, attacking.